as usual, the other day, I was going through the Squarespace Facebook communities and trying to help sort of people with if they have coding questions or just general queries because I'm nice like that. And anyway, this guy wanted to display his promotional pop-up on mobile only. And I've actually, I've got a video on teaching people how to display it only on desktop. And that's really, really easy. It's basically a toggle that Squarespace has natively and it says display on mobile, you untoggle it and it doesn't show it on mobile. Easy peasy. But the other way doesn't work. So what you need to do is add a little bit of code in to basically hide it on desktop. Now, I don't really know what the use case is for this, but he wanted to show it to mobile users only. So I said, well, you've got a code and issue and I'm gonna help because I'm a nice guy. So what it is was put a little bit of code together and I thought, well, there's a video. So I got to work doing this. Now I'm gonna take you over to the screen and I'll show you the code that I built. Okay, so first of all, I've just been watching this video back and I've just seen what is going on with my eyebrow there, that's insane. So I've tidied my act up. I think I've recorded two more videos as well with that eyebrow, so hey ho, I'm sure so there's gonna be some people laughing at me, but I fixed it now, as you can see. Anyway, so for the promotional pop-up, we wanna to go to marketing and then we wanna to go to promotional pop-up. Toggle, display pop-up, and you can see when we go to display and timing, we can have show on mobile, so this is what the person wanted, but there's no toggle for show on desktop. So what we wanna do is go into custom CSS, start a new code and let's just say hide pop-up on desktop and we want to start with at media screen and minimum width of 641 pixels now this is the size of most uh, or this is the maximum size of most mobile browsers so we start with this and this is basically saying we're targeting desktop so 641 and above now within this we need to basically say find the pop-up and hide it so it's going to be display none now what we need to do is find our target to sit here and to do that what we want to do is go into incognito because i'm logged in it will take me into the dashboard so i have to go into incognito this way, we can get the pop-up to spring up, which it should do in a moment. There we go. Now we want to go into Google Chrome Developer Tools. So on Mac, it's Shift, Command, and C. There we go. Now what we want to do, let's just zoom out. What we want to do is basically hide this. We want to hide this pop-up. So at first, when I was doing this, I was just targeting this so this small area, if we go up, it would be this. And this isn't correct. So if we were to do this, like this, put it in here and save. And we open up a new incognito window because our pop-up's only going to display once. So if we open up a new one, scroll through a little bit and wait for the See, the pop-up itself isn't there, but the background is, and that means... This is going to create this really horrible experience for users because they're like, oh, well, my screen's dimmed, but I can't see a pop up. So what's the issue? They need they can't click off anywhere. You see, it's got this really mad effect. There we go. And then it takes all these strange clicks to get off. So what I'm saying is that is not the way to do it. You need to make sure everything is hidden. So it looks like it's gone. But when we go to click on things, it's not actually gone. So really what we need to do is go one deeper and find the first instance of the pop-up. So we need to go back into Chrome Developer Tools. We need to highlight what is covering our whole page. We need to click to identify it. And then we can see clearly that it's SQS pop-up overlay. So we want to copy that. We want to stick it into here. And we want to say display no and i've given it important as well 
So let's try this one last time. There we go. There's no pop-up and it doesn't interfere with the user's ability to hover and inter well and basically interact with the entire site. So I know that was a really long-winded process, but it's important that you understand what we're targeting and how that basically affects the entire site. If you did find this useful, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.